Love you, long time, John. <laughs> you so special. Hey, we're on. No, we're, and we're live and we're here. We're live in a pre-recorded <laughs> studio. A new I mean, hope legacy. <laughs> In Kailua-Kona, Hawaii. Chee-hoo! Hawaiian! <laughs> hey, what a series. Yeah? You guys... Oh, if you... Oh, oh. I like I did that. Oh! Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh Rod, that was one mean one, yeah? <laughs> so, hey, good stories today. Mm -hmm. Talking about... Forgiveness. Ooh. Yes, Jesse brought forth the message. He brought it down <laughs> off the mountain. And holding the two tablets <laughs> and said, the Lord has given you forgiveness for he has given the, the <laughs> forgiveness you shall get. Okay, so we're going to get started on forgiveness. If you're married, you may remember when you were dating. Do you remember? Ah, like it was 19 <laughs> years ago. Do you remember no. how you loved everything about your spouse? You fell in love with the funny things they did, with the way that they laughed, even the sound of their voice, so melodious. You didn't even notice the faults, the flaws, or failures of your spouse because you were blinded by love. Mwah. I noticed them. <laughs> <laughs> love you, new. <laughs> then you got married, and it was like the Apostle Paul when something like scales <laughs> fell off from his eyes. He could see clearly. The Bible talks about being blinded by love in 1 Peter. 1 Peter 4, 8 says, above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. <laughs> when we look through the lens of love, we see the fallible hum humanity that Jesus died for. <laughs> Those big words, fallible. Love is the engine of forgiveness. We must correct our heart back to Christ's love for us. He died for us when we were sinners. So, with that in mind. Wow. <laughs> that's kind of a lot. Could you say that again where you were at the part, you, you said, if you're married, you may, I didn't catch it from that point on. <laughs> from the beginning? No, I'm not going to. You well, no, read I your caught the forgiveness paper. part. You read your own paper when you have some time. I don't know. Okay. I was so, stuck on, do you remember all the times and yet that you could let, I was like, no. no. <laughs> so why don't you guys go ahead and read <laughs> Luke 23 verses 34 through 38 and pause now. Hope they're back already, because I'm done dancing. That was all your moves. Oh, <laughs> it was all rolled up into one. It's like, look at the size of that burrito right there. That's a Jeff burrito right there. Okay, you read. Okay, I, I can't. Read I can't read <laughs> unless you got grape crayons, because I like grape crayons. Oh, great. Great. Purple. Okay. <laughs> Hello. That was part of the joke. Okay, so you read uh, Luke 23. Mm -hmm. 34 to 38. Mm -hmm. So in that, <coughs> I'm going to ask you a couple questions. And when you guys pause this, then you guys can go back and, and hit each questionnaire. Yes. So here's what it's going to be, okay? First one will be, did they ask for forgiveness? Well, yes. No. What? Okay. La, la, you guys argue about that later. I mean, discuss that. Did I say <laughs> argue? <laughs> okay. The other in thing you're going to say is... It's an argue. I know. It's like... <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> okay play. Um, were they sorry? That's, mm, yeah, guys figured that out. Uh, did they deserve to be forgiven? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, we all do. Okay, skip that question <laughs> then. Jeez, Cal, you just gave me the answer. Uh, why do you think that Jesus was able to forgive them? Because he's Lord. Well, he's God. God can do that. Yeah. I'm just human. Yeah. Okay. For, for you, it's a little harder. And I'm for like, God, all things are possible. We are not a hospital. We're a courtroom. No, we're not. But I mean, our talk story group. Right. Wow. In the words of Mark, I feel so vulnerable. It's like standing here with... Never mind. So anyways. <laughs> uh, how can we be more like Jesus in forgiveness? Okay, so we're going to pause and let you guys go through each of those questions. The reason I didn't pause in between each one is because it would be like, did Jesus forgive him? Pause now. Yes. Okay. Did Jesus... <laughs> yeah. Pause now. 
So go ahead. So, <laughs> <laughs> and pause. Now. Choo choo. Your eyeballs are like. Choo 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 choo. Look me in the eyes. <laughs> My brain's going. Poke them. Poke them in that eye. <laughs> get it, no, get poke them in that eyeball. Okay, question Wait. number. Delawa. Jesus was able to forgive because of his great love for us. His forgiveness for you has no strings attached. Colossians tells us to remember how much we have been forgiven so we can forgive others. Read Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 15 and talk about how this verse will affect friendship. Yeah, yeah, you know, I don't know. I, th I think sometimes we look and uh, Jesus was able to forgive because of his great love for us and his God is, is he created us and, and you know, we, his love for us and that. But you know what? That guy over there, I never create that guy. I like boss him up. Mm -hmm. And it's like, <laughs> no, you know, you, you, you got to think about that, mm -hmm. you know, for how much more if you're, if you're, you think about your children, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, here, God made us, and we're not listening to him. We do stuff that he says not to do, but he forgave us. Mm -hmm. I mean, think of that. I mean, let's, oh, well, okay, how you, you lied to me. <laughs> Boop, drop in the bucket. Oh, wow. <laughs> think about what we've done to God. Yeah. Think about what we've, think about some of the worst sins that you got out there. Stuff that some of us won't even say it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because everybody be like, oh, yeah. And we say that anyway. But, uh, you know, so think about that. So now you've got mm -hmm. the creator of everything, created you in his own image. Um, you sinned against him. And he said, you know what? That's mm -hmm. okay. I can forgive you. So, yeah. You guys go ahead and go back into that reading Colossians and then talk about that. And pause mm -hmm. now. Look at my expression. Like on the video, and I had it. <laughs> so that was. You can hold them for longer than I possibly could. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. So, question number, number three. Tatlo. What language is that? Tagalog. Oh. It's a okay. Tagalog, Tatlo, Pat Lima. Everybody together. Itchy ni san she go. Get it? Itchy ni san she go. Okay, okay, number three. It's Japanese, you guys just learned to speak. We don't want to. We don't want to go through all the languages in Hana Camp. Oh. So, have okay. you ever heard the phrase? It takes hey. one to know one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone who is an alcoholic can see the signs of another who is an alcoholic. Church people are quick to point out problems of others. So read Matthew seven verses one through five, and talk about what this verse is trying to tell us. This may take a while. Uh, yes. Remember, <laughs> this is only for an hour, okay? But that's good. How many times have you said that? You know, well, it takes one to know one. Mm -hmm. But you must know them all. <laughs> that's just, Yeah. Mm, mm. talking about Christians back here. Yeah. yeah. So, Go ahead and pause <laughs> now. <laughs> Anywhere in it, they just pause at me going, eh, or me going. <laughs> What's that one of you guys paused in the hood? So she paused it and you're that, like one. <laughs> I was like that. <laughs> and it was just horrible. It's just like, okay, can we and then you guys talk forever on that. Well, you know, I <laughs> think Jesus like really that. meant to say that. Oh my God, look at Kay on TV. But anyways, we're just like, can we change that or something? She's just Hurry creeping me out. Play. That's it. Let's just grab something to eat. Hey, welcome oh, back. Okay. Yes, hi. Well, that's all in between the things. So when they had to pause and then we come back to now. Okay. There it is. <coughs> okay, so how do we remove the log in our own eye? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's kind of... Sometimes it's difficult to see that log. Pluck that bugger out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it won't happen in a day, but it will happen daily. Mm -hmm. 
uh, when we do our daily devotionals and allow the Word of God to scrub our hearts clean, uh, when we soap journal, scripture, observation, application, prayer, mm -hmm. journal, the, and apply the Word to our life, uh, let's see, we will become more like Jesus each day. My challenge, my challenge to you <laughs> this week is to journal. Uh, maybe you can even partner with the people in your group. Wow, what a concept. Hmm, I'm going to partner with the people in my group to do something. I wonder where I've heard that before. That's kind of like uh, what we're supposed to be doing, right? <laughs> yeah. Remember the whole thing? Get your phone numbers at the first one that we did. Great keep in text. touch with everybody. <laughs> uh, kind of keep in touch if you need prayer for something, mm -hmm. all that stuff. <laughs> oh, and then we have, oh, ready? It says, uh, ready? Aloha, Aloha Pastor, Pastor McConnell. <laughs> okay. So I think he just likes to hear us say that. That's what he puts it on there. Say Aloha, Pastor McConnell. Well, it doesn't say, say Aloha. It just says Aloha, Pastor McConnell. So we say that. Aloha, yeah. Pastor McConnell. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> so, but no, hey, soap journal. Guys, if one thing you, if you pick up only one thing out of uh, New Hope, <laughs> New Hope is a church. I'm going to tell you now, the thing is to journal. Mm -hmm. That is the biggest thing. How do you, well, you know what, Jeff, that, yeah, that soap journal thing, you know, that's great. But I need, I need the meat and potatoes in it. Hello? That's what it is. That's what the Bible is there for. You can come in here once a week and eat. Mm -hmm. And then one of the statements they made at, at DCAP, uh, he says, um, what we see on the outside is not what God sees. What, what God sees, what the devil sees is that spirit man. And if that spirit man's only fed once a week, mm -hmm. when you come to church, holy Jesus, praise the Lord. All he sees in that spirit man is a pile of bones mm -hmm. because you are not going to make it. But when you feed, and that's, who do you think the devil's going to pick? In the military, we say well, it's a hard target and a soft target. Hard target eh, is just that. It's a harder target. You need to expend more. You need to yep. get bigger weapons. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an, a soft target. That's eh, a Humvee with a can of a side. Just shoot at that. It's easy. And so the devil sees that, a pile of bones. Or you see this guy who's journaling every day. And every day he goes to the armor and he grabs out his sword, which is the... So the spirit, the Bible. Mm -hmm. Hello. Soap, you're learning that. Mm -hmm. And you're going through and you're saying, this scripture today is meaning something to me. And that goes into your heart opposed to saying, read the first chapter of Genesis. What did you get out of that? Out of the first chapter? How about I read like a piece in that and I journal on that one piece and that sits in your heart. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you guys, get in there, find each other. <laughs> you know, you don't have to sit there for an hour if you don't have the hour. Um, like Nahua, every morning she gets up, she gets her little uh, cup of tea. And she has her little piece of toast or crackers with peanut butter on it. And she curls up in the corner with her Bible and she journals every morning. Mm -hmm. She sits there, got the little light on. And she sits there and she journals. <laughs> and that's what she does. But every day she does that. Mm -hmm. And so once you go and do that, then set up a time with somebody in the room with you and say, hey, can I call you at like uh, on my lunch? Mm -hmm. And I'll just, I'll read my journal to you and you can read yours to me. And we do that. Dude, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's no set way of doing it. Exactly. It's just got to do it daily. <laughs> you got to, though. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So set it up. Do that. Until next week. Aloha. Aloha. Ahoy ho. Take and then care. Malama to Pono. Mal no, see, I'm taking Okay, okay, stuff. okay. And Malama Pono and Malama to Aina and the Keikis and help the orphans and the children in faraway lands and stuff. <laughs> See ya. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> See, because that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, Aloha, uh, my lama, the pono, and the pono, the lama, and all the stuff, and the kind, and all the my brother.